So let me just, by a show of hands, how many people are concerned about where AI is going to go in terms of our practices? Anybody concerned? Okay. A few people. Okay, so let me tell you a little bit about, uh, so I've been doing uh, AI for a number of years. We've been doing this work on pancreatic cancer, but I've looked really carefully at where things are going, so I thought I would just share with you what's happening and where potentially things can go. I kind of like this quote by Donald Rumsfeld, and uh, there are the known knowns, the things we know we know, where there are the known unknowns, the things we know we don't know, but are there the unknown unknowns, the things we don't know that we don't know. And I think that's where AI probably is. There's a lot written about AI, and you can go through um, many different things to the point of being uh, that AI is going to replace everything we do. But I will say that AI is changing everything we do. And I've looked at AI very working with things outside of medicine. And AI is affecting everything from financial services to driving cars to everything we do. And in healthcare, there's a meeting I've come to the last couple of years because of my daughter called CES, the Computer Electronics Show, which happens in Vegas the first week of January. 250,000 people, every hotel uh, is taken. 25% um, of all the stuff last year was healthcare. And that's not by intent, that's just how it's evolved. And it's not Siemens, GE, Philips, Toshiba, it's Alexa, Amazon, Google, you name it. Uh, so the changes in healthcare, and the thing about industries and AI is that everything is changing, and I'll just say that healthcare is just one of those changes. And not so much just radiology, perhaps, but just all of healthcare, whether it's considering how to do admissions, how to manage populations, how to have increased efficiency, all these things potentially, in many ways, can improve the quality and yet decrease the cost. Now, healthcare always tends to be one of the slower things because in part, we always like to say the FDA, but healthcare is slow in general. And if you look at what AI adoption, healthcare and education, I was asking the president of the university um, how they're changing education. There was a great talk by uh, Jack Ma, who ran Alibaba, stepped down about a week ago, and he was saying that the biggest problem, he was talking about China and the US, the biggest problem of education is that we're teaching people for the industrial revolution not for the next revolution. And I have a three-year-old grandchild who just started school, and I was just thinking the same thing as, you know, how is he gonna be taught compared to the way any of us were taught? You know, education tends to change very slowly, and I think healthcare is not gonna, is, is gonna change a bit 